Is the system of merit rigged truly merit based? Look, there's been extensive studies, and let's just take one element of the system, okay? The labour market. Extensive studies for the last 10 years and more globally echoed about the way in which I could put in a uh, resume with my particular qualifications and I could just change the name on the top from Shen Nariana Sammy, which is a long name that is clearly not Mike Smith. And depending on the name on the top of that resume, I will have a significantly different callback rate. How do you know? Because it's, we've, we've done it. There's been ANU studies into it. We've got all the data. So the, the latest study that came out, I think it was five years ago, from the ANU extensive study, I think they sent out something like five to 10,000 resumes to test just this, exactly the same job, um, you know, experience and just change the name on the top to different ethnicity, ethnicities. And I think it was Chinese people had to put out 63% uh, 60, more resumes to get the same number of callbacks as someone with an Anglo name. It's really well established. So the existence of systemic discrimination alongside a system in which many people feel like they are getting placed because of merit, which is also true, systemic discrimination is a key component of that right now. So if you accept that as fact, and I think it's very difficult to argue with that, then what do you say? You say, well, hang on, we would like a merit-based system, but we've got this systemic discrimination problem. And when you look at the data and all of the kind of attempts that have been made to deal with that discrimination, you see that much of it is unconscious. And therefore, numerous studies and there's another study that, that kind of looked at 190 legislative jurisdictions across the world and compared mm -hmm. their you know attempts to get women into politics because they also suffer from a systemic discrimination obviously and they found that quotas were the most effective way of doing so All right. and frankly I, I think some of this is just around you know if you look at the data and you look at what's been done, the argument's really clear. But the Australian newspaper and Senator Abetz don't want to do that. They right. want to create a storm in a teacup, and so we have this debate every time.